can a spoonful of honey actually extend your life? Well, some folks on a certain Greek island believe it can. And to hear Jonathan Vigliotti tell it, they have a tasty argument. Not far from the picture-perfect tourist hubs of Santorini and Mykonos, where cruise ships unload tourists by the thousands, sits another Greek island. More rugged, but no less remarkable, Ikaria is off the beaten path. Up the winding mountain roads of this isolated isle, you're likely to notice these brightly painted boxes dotting the landscape. And what's happening inside those boxes is generating some buzz. Bees, busy making a rare honey that locals believe is one of the secrets to a long life. We suited up to get a closer look. Do you think that your honey helps the people here live longer? Beekeeper Andoni Karamalis explains that people on the island have been eating the honey for generations to keep healthy and strong well into old age. 109-year-old Yaya Joanna at work in her weaving studio agrees. There's something special about it. So does 87-year-old beekeeper Giorgios Stenos. Do you eat your honey? You see fast, smelly soon. Cothimera. Cothimera, every day. <laughs> every single day. I go through one of these almost a week. Chef Diane Cochilla says she has a spoonful system, every morning. Really for you. So when the locals and here say it's like their medicine, their daily vitamin, there's truth to that. There is truth to that. And the local older guys say it's nature's Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should be telling you that. <laughs> to our knowledge, that claim hasn't been tested. But research has found that people here have among the highest life expectancies in the world. And the University of Athens concluded that Ikarians are more than twice as likely as Americans to reach age 90, often in better health. What was it in Mary Poppins? Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down with a spoonful of honey. You don't need medicine. <laughs> it's good. For centuries, humans have valued honey for its medicinal properties. And in Ikaria, known in ancient times as the healing island, the honey is different from that found on most supermarket shelves. What makes Ikarian honey so unique? First of all, there's no industrial farming on the island. Uh, there's not, no, very few commercial undertakings whatsoever. So nature is pretty pure. As a result, the pollen and nectar collected by the bees is free of chemicals and pesticides, normally found in commercial or private farming. And unlike most honey sold in the U.S., Ikarian honey is also unheated, unfiltered, and unpasteurized, all processes which can destroy the natural vitamins and minerals. In other words... It's going from the bees to somebody's mouth. And only is just facilitating. Well, they go to the beach this time. David Kahn and his wife Robin are also helping yeah. spread the word. The American expats, who moved to the island a decade ago for a simpler life, introduced Andoni to a distributor in the U.S. And when we first came, we had a lot of friends that would want the honey because we had it at our house. They were like, what is this? It's so great. So we kept, he kept going up to Andoni's all the time. And they said, where can we order this stuff? So it's basically been a very well-kept secret. That secret, now perhaps, a little less well-kept. How do you feel about word spreading? I have to be honest, that's a double-edged sword because we want to share, of course, the goodness, but we also want to retain the purity of the place and keep it more or less as it is. 